Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather... used. Used? Yes, but spent hardly. They've both at least a good year left in them. You could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course... His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Good. Delightful. Ah. Back off, Branded. Can't you see I'm with a customer? much for this one. Oh, and a giant of roast like a plum for the apple of your eye. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been soured by a branded touch.
Come, treat yourself. You there, fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to some stray branded. Are you gonna buy something or not? Do you see anything you like? I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Saw it last time I was through the wall. Jutting up from the waves like the mane of some giant beast. I heard tell it's the work of an icon. Might be Shiva. I heard the Iron Blood lost her on their campaign in the Republic. Confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a friend. What the hell are you doing? We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the Vale already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Boy, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, 
they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. On you go. That's the day done, then. Drinks and the veil. How about the veil, then drinks? To your bleeding shit about bearer. It's not been half a moon since Bellinus tour. They need to have us march again. That's what we signed up for. The markets are a veritable midden, teeming with vermin. Ugh, you need not remind me. Their incessant chittering is ringing in my ears even now.
is that the legions are ready to march again. Men and their swords. They won't be satisfied until they've stuck them in every last soul in the realm. I might see you tonight. <laughs> that depends on how much you want to see. <sighs> Drake's head. Ain't a sight more beautiful in the realm, I reckon. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. The garrisons are being called back to the capital. We're to join the legions. My cousin in the capital said they lost one of the wharves to an ether flood. It was a good thing they got more than one then, eh? You! Where are the devils who dwell upon western shores? His radiance did command a great legion across the grace for to rid the realm of his stain, yet... 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 none did return! Devoured all by the... <laughs> oh, Grandfather, stop bothering this poor man and eat your supper. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil.
thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder? It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. You know you are always welcome here at the Vale. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. One package to each of my three customers beyond the wall. And remember, fresh from the master's table. Well then, I suppose you're needed. Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. 
With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Come, treat yourself. Fish, fish. Give me all from the cows. sea of grace. This what did you say was in these pies again? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. If I learn you let the guards find that bottle, you'll have me to answer to. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false... I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Speak of this to anyone, and there'll be nightshade in your morning gruel. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflamme's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. I'd be dead in a ditch if it weren't for Etienne's blessings. The fruit's not getting anything. No one's allowed through the gate at all. Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. Seen you around the bay Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours.
delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'm happy to see my trust in you was not misplaced. The dame will be delighted to hear of your success. Who did one of them? You're one of the dames, I see. Well, you'd best be back to the Vale before the sun sets. Once the men of the garrison have filled their bellies with liquid courage, a brooch won't stay their tempers. Sergeant's got it in for us two. As if either of us needs to brush up on our sword craft. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. <laughs> Don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only... Chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Right. So you know one end of a... <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? 
Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? How the bearer win the dame's favor anyway? By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side had a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We won't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. I heard the bones fell favourably. To the veil, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare cost little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom, a freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. I 
Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Get on with it! You want to bleed to death? something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. You branded are nothing but a nuisance. Feckless a lot here. It's not been half a moon since Bellin's tour. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. from me. Dash, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Uh, that bastard! Accident, my ass! For business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. 
Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. We always look forward to your visits, Clive. The dame especially. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. The dame sees that all of us share a bedchamber. It discourages unwanted visits from some of our more determined clients. And... It means we grow close. If anyone knows where Tatian went, it'll be her chambermate. 